But our thing is we need to separate ourselves. We need to see this system go away. We should not want to see homeless people anywhere in America. We should not want to see hungry people anywhere in America. We should not want to see veterans who fought in wars out there in wheelchairs with one leg begging for, for, for change at a corner. We should not want to see any of this, bro. Where's your fundamental humanity? Where's your basic concern for, 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 for human beings? Y'all are so angry. Y'all have become just like the white folks that y'all talk about. Y'all have adopted and, and, and assumed all of their characteristics and behaviors. And even worse, you have become Batman. You are that black Negro that now wants to uh, uh, do whatever you can to maintain and protect and defend this evil, wicked way of life. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. I'm going to tell you something that nobody ever told you, brothers. You need to be more like Bane than Batman. You see, the problem is y'all want to be Batman. Y'all want to be the hero to save the city, to save the system. Bane wants to destroy the system because of all the evil and wickedness that the system represents. You see, Bane was made the way he is by a corrupt system. You ever notice that in most movies, the so-called bad people are made bad by evils and wickednesses that are done to them through the system by official members in official capacity, government agencies, uh, uh, politicians, you know, police departments, you know, uh, anybody of some kind of authority, be it the boss at the work, at, at the office, it doesn't matter. The so-called bad people are always made bad because they are responding to things done to them by those in privileged positions within the system. So Bain decided to take down the entire system. Now, I'm not saying all that other stuff that he was going to do. I'm, I'm not talking about be a terrorist or something, something like that. I'm, I'm not talking about it. I'm using this as a metaphor. Understand what I'm trying to say. We should want to see the destruction of this system. We should not want to save this system because the system is not worth saving. We have homeless people everywhere. Housing should be a human right. You know, and this is what appalls me so much at, at, at you, a lot of you Ray and Peel brothers, how y'all would kick the sister that's down talking about she's living in her van and come up with all these conspiracies the why she's doing it and she's faking it. Say, but y'all don't know that woman, y'all don't know the woman's situation. Don't speak on that, bro. Where's your humanity? Housing should be a human right. We are the only species on this planet that have a problem with housing. That we have to pay to live. That we have to pay to have a house. When the earth gives us all the resources we need. We are earthlings. The earth is our home. We are supposed to utilize the earth at will for ourselves. We are not supposed to have a system that allows people to go homeless with, with, with hundreds of thousands of empty homes all through America. That, that we have people hungry with food being thrown away by the megatons, by the metric tons every day in grocery stores, every day in restaurants. Just recently, some town had a power outage due to the weather changes. And the stores had to throw out a lot of food. So the people in that area were doing some dumpster diving. They were going to get the food out of it. I mean, the food is still good it's, and, and it's cold. So, I mean, it's actually refrigerated outside, right? The power was off inside, but outside is cold as heck, right? So anyway, the stores actually called the police to come guard the dumpsters so that people couldn't go and get food out of the dumpster. That was still good. 
This is the system that you Batman are trying to uphold. I'm banned. I want to see this stuff go. I want to see it all torn down. And I don't want to see it rebuilt or replaced. It needs to go away. Human beings should live autonomously like we once did. We need to learn how to be earthlings once again. This systemic stuff don't work. And y'all, y'all conserva, y'all conservatives are so confused. Y'all always talk about socialism. What do you think this is? This is socialism for the rich. This is socialism for the privileged. They have us all within one system working to their benefit. We don't work to our benefit. At least in socialism, you'll be working to your benefit also. You are working solely to the benefit of those in power and the privilege and the elite. That's who you work for. You don't work for yourself. As I said on a recent video, you have to understand that you got that job, but you didn't get that job for you. They gave you that job for them. You benefit them. To whatever degree they get a benefit from you, you have that job because they wanted you with that job. You fit their profile. These people are not about fairness. They're not about justice. They're not about righteousness. So if you fit their profile, you gotta understand how they see you. And I'm not saying you're a bad person. Don't, don't take that wrong. I don't want y'all tricking. I'm not saying all of you bad people because you could be a part of something unwillingly. You know, if you really believe a certain way, then you could be a part of it because you honestly believe it to be true. But just because you believe you're doing right, that don't mean you're doing right. And that's what I'm trying to say. And if you look at the wickedness of this system, you should know that anybody that this system likes is not right. And that goes back to that, that dude, that conservative came on my channel talking about the system likes me. Some old nation of Islam dude, you know what I'm saying? They, they conservatives too. You know, some nation of Islam dude. The system likes me. Bruh, the system don't like men like me because I'm against the whole system. I'm not around here dropping these crazy conservative talking points just because you can see how messed up the Democrats are, as if the conservatives are messed up. I'm not around here telling these crazy lies talking about, do you know the Republican Party of Texas was started by eight black guys? You know what I'm saying? People don't know why I'm Republican. Nah, man, that wasn't the same party. Today's Dixiecrats are the Republicans. Understand that. The Dixiecrats that used to be the Democrats, they are today, they are the Republicans. You could miss me with all that jumbo up stuff, all these lies. All this, you know, stop playing with me, bro. And this is why I don't talk to you, you conservatives, because I don't want y'all in my face disrespecting my intelligence like that, as if everybody don't know that the party's flipped. That today's Republicans are yesterday's Democrats and vice versa. Everybody know that. Everybody know that. That's why they call them Reagan Democrats. Everybody know that. Reagan was the first uh, uh, Republican to bring those Dixiecrats in. And when they came in, by the next election cycles, all of the original Republicans, they voted Democrat. The parties had effectively swapped. But neither party is good. Neither party give a, a, a heck about us. They don't care about us. So I don't sit here and, and be dropping these little cold words you know, talking about liberal bias and liberals this and liberal. Hey man, the conservatives, conservatives ain't no better. You conservatives make me sick, man. So no, I'm not a dude that the system likes because I'm not for either part of the system. I'm telling y'all we need to disband this whole system and we need to begin by claiming our proper Aborigine status and pulling away from their society. This is our homeland. Reclaim our homeland. We need to reclaim territories. Get our homeland back. You know, let them people do whatever they do. Don't worry about the other powers of the world bombing us. You have to worry about these crackers outside your borders more than you got to worry about somebody in Russia or China bombing you. They're not going to mess with us, but they'll mess with them. But our thing is we need to separate ourselves. We need to see this system go away. We should not want to see homeless people 
anywhere in America. We should not want to see hungry people anywhere in America. We should not want to see veterans who fought in wars out there in wheelchairs with one leg begging for, for, for change at a corner. We should not want to see any of this, bro. Where's your fundamental humanity? Where's your basic concern for, 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 for human beings? Y'all are so angry. Y'all have become just like the white folks that y'all talk about. Y'all have adopted and, and, and assumed all of their characteristics and behaviors. And even worse, you have become Batman. You are that black Negro that now wants to uh, uh, do whatever you can to maintain and protect and defend this evil, wicked way of life. When you should be letting it go. You should be trying to tear it down. You should be trying to disband it. But no, you want to maintain it. And y'all say, I got the problem. What happened to my black brothers and sisters? Where did we go, man? What happened to us? We have never been this heartless, this crass. The Crimson Cure did this video using this, 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 this young sister, a young single mother who lives in her van. She had the nerve to use this girl's story as a talking point against all black women in the black community. What happened to us? When did we become this kind of people? My moms, my dad, my family, my elders always told me, if you don't have something good to say, you shut up. Now I understand we are in the world of a of, of certain degree of debate here online, but certain things are still off limits. Certain things are still uh, uh, not up for, for, for discussion or not up for ridicule or mockery because of the human factor involved. But we have gotten away from even being concerned with the human factor. We don't care no more. What happened to us? Where did we go? What happened to us? We used to be Bane. We never wanted to be this deeply embedded in this system or deeply invested in this system. I remember the black community was a beautiful place. I grew up in the hood of hoods. I grew up in a majority overwhelming black city, New Orleans. I'm from the Lord Nine Wall, CTC, Cutthroat City. And I'm telling you, man, we had parks with pools down there, parks with tennis courts down there, parks with playgrounds and basketball courts down there. It was a beautiful thing growing up in the hood. Now the hood is nothing because we have internalized all of that hatred that this devil had for us and we spit it back out towards our own people. And now any black man or woman that actually tries to go against anything that this society says, be it the lies about who we are and where we come from to our views on economy or economics, to our views on politics. If we go against anything within this system, we attack that black person. We act like white blood cells or something. We see that black person as a virus and we attack them. What happened to us? What happened to us? We need to be bang. Tear this thing down. Tear it down and don't start again. We don't need a government to rule over us. We don't need kings over us. We don't need queens over us. We don't need leaders handpicked to be our representatives. We just need to be free. That's all. And it starts by officially separating the black community. That is the first step. Trust me, it don't seem like it, but that is the first step. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here, Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha. Salam.